You know your skincare company is taking advantage of you if they're selling you a product to rub under your eyes that are supposed to take care of your, your darkening under your eyes or, or uh, puffiness under the eyes. Those are circulatory issues, and they're also very important issues because they're telling you something's wrong in the circulatory system. So not only is it nasty and predatory for a company to sell you a product to, to, uh, to put rub under your eyes for, for puffiness or for color changes, but even worse, it's a diversion. It takes us away from where the problem really is, which is in the liver, in the circulatory system, in the blood vessels, in the heart. And these are all major, major health issues. So puffiness under the eye should be regarded as a harbinger uh, of future problems, worse problems, or as an indicator that something is percolating underneath in the body, in the circulatory system, in the immune system that needs to be addressed. Anyway, we talked about that uh, on our last video. If you're interested in getting on the list or if you're interested in getting that video, you can send me an email, Ben at ksco.com, and we'll get you on the list. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to California and welcome Sue to the Bright Side. What's up, Sue? How are you doing this morning? Hi, I'm doing great, Ben. How are you? I'm calling for my brother. Okay. Um, he has sent me some <laughs> disturbing pictures of what his gout looks like. Oh, I've no. never seen anybody with gout before. His anyway, toe? Um, Was it his big toe? It's his big toe and his toe next to it, and it's like red with green with purple. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And the two toes look like they like somebody smashed them, and they're like all full of blood. Oh, and my God. And they're very, very painful. It that sounds like a really bad case of gout. I've, I've never seen that either. How, long, how old is your brother? Um, he's 54. Okie dokie. Well, here's the deal with gout. Nobody just has gout. Okay. Gout, gout is an indicator of a body in major, major distress, specifically chemistry stress that involves sugar and something called uric acid. Now, if you go to the doctor, even if you go to a naturopath or some alternative health practitioner, they'll tell you about uric acid and they'll tell you about staying away from certain foods that are purine foods and they will name cheese and meat and beer. And indeed, gout is known as the rich man's disease. Not so much these days. You don't have to be rich to have have it, but back in the day, uh, only kings and royalty and people who ate very heavy, rich foods got gout. Well, here's the deal with gout. You want to treat it. It's called, by the way, it's not the technical name for gout, is gouty arthritis. It's a form of arthritis. It's a form of joint inflammation. Anytime you have inflammation, you have an activated immune system. In this case, the immune system is, uh, is reacting against crystals that are being formed in response to our favorite whipping boy on this program anyway, and that is sugar. Elevated uric acid and elevated blood sugar, especially, by the way, fructose, fruit sugar, is the big problem. So what you want to do is you want to treat gout as if it's, a, as if it's prediabetes or even diabetes. So, by the way, your brother, your 54-year-old brother, yes. he, has he gained weight in the last maybe 10, 15, 20 years since he was uh, in his 30s? He's gone up and down in weight, yes. Is he heavier now than he was when he was in his 30s and 40s? Uh, no, he's actually gotten thinner but um, right now, but he did have a big weight gain for a while. Okay, so he went on a diet or something? He started to yeah. focus on Yeah, okay. he did. Yeah, he tried to get rid of the weight. Okay, good. Well, then he's on the right track. So, for, okay. so he wants to regard the gout as a, as a sign that his blood sugar is starting to, starting to uh, his uh, blood sugar control is starting to become compromised. So number one, first and foremost, wean yourself off of blood sugar spiking foods, especially fructose, fruit sugar. Okay. And he's fruit juice, and is he a fruit eater, fruit juice kind of person? Yeah. It's a lot, okay, uh -huh. so, so wean him off of that uh, fr a fructose type of sugar. A lot of times people think that fruit sugar is somehow good for you, better for you. Honey, by the way, is a rich source of fructose, and it's not a better sweetener than sh Well, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's still got problems associated with it. It probably is better than straight sugar because you get some nutrition with it, but you still have to be careful with that. Use the sweeties. Use the B-complex that you'll get from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Have him, have him sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And one of the best ways, as I'm sure you've heard me say before, one of the best ways to wean yourself off of these fast-burning carbohydrates and sugars is to get into eating more protein. Now, with gout, he's going to have to watch out for meat protein and fish protein, but he should be okay with whey protein as long as he doesn't have a digestive problem and egg protein. These are very okay. important building proteins and living proteins. Now, again, he has to make sure he's not reacting in a digestive fashion, uh, so he's not bloating or has, doesn't have any gas problems or any heartburn problems after he, eat, after he uh, does his whey protein and his egg protein, but those are going to be w uh, nice, easy ways to wean himself away from, from the sugary, bready kinds of foods, starchy kinds of foods. 
Then you want to make sure that you're using the, uh, uh, the basic digestive support uh, and the Mighty 90. The basic digestive support would be the Biolumin Nightly Essence and then linking digestive, uh, any kind of digestive symptomology to foods and then eliminating those foods. The Z-Radical, very, very helpful for the digestive system and, of course, digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar in particular can have some really interesting benefits for gout because of its, uh, uh, because of its blood sugar control benefits. This is a very interesting Apple cider vinegar is very, very interesting stuff. We talk about it all the time on this program in terms of its importance for the digestive system, for helping uh, acidify or lower the pH of the, of the stomach and the digestive juices. But apple cider vinegar has got multiple benefits. And one of the really important benefits for apple cider vinegar is for stabilizing blood sugar. So using apple cider vinegar before you go to bed and using apple cider vinegar with your meals can not only help you digest your food, taking it after meals, but it can also help stabilize your blood sugar if you take it before before you go to bed. Uh, if he's not taking his blood sugar, uh, he can just maybe just take, drink a lot of water first thing in the morning. That's a really good way to dilute blood sugar. And first thing in the morning when we wake up, especially if we've gone to the bathroom once or twice or three times in the middle of the night, our, our uh, blood tends to be very dense with sugar. Our blood sugar concentration is much higher first thing in the morning, and that can throw off blood sugar. So drinking uh, drinking, uh, uh, diluting the, uh, drinking water to dilute the sugar can be important. Doing it first thing in the morning, of course. If you drink water first thing in the morning, that will also fill you up a little bit. You won't have, you'll have a tendency to eat less breakfast food, uh, less breakfast or less calories at breakfast. And you'll also get a little bit of energy if you drink cold water first thing in the morning. So that's another good strategy for you. So long story short, for treating gout, you want to regard it as an arthritis condition. You want to regard it as a metabolic chemistry condition. And you want to regard it as a blood sugar problem. Problem. Work on the digestive system, work on the blood sugar, uh, uh, wean yourself off of the sweet foods and, and stabilizing your blood sugar with nutritional supplements. That's how you take care of gout, and thank you so much for your call, Sue, from California. Really appreciate it. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Ted Anderson telling you about Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic Green-Fed Raw Cheddar Artesian Cheese featuring whole milk created through ancient dairy breeding, unpasteurized, untreated whole milk on the same farm the cows graze, containing natural sources of omega-3s, CLA protein, calcium, probiotics, and enzymes. I have never tasted cheese this good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. Okay, got a letter from Susan. She says, uh, hi, Ben. I have a friend who's recently been diagnosed with high blood pressure. I don't think she's gone on medication as of yet. She's asked me information but hasn't taken the step of taking the longevity products. She's recently had a blood test, and it came back that her blood calcium is where it should be. That's the information they gave her. She wants to know if I could ask Dr. Glidden or Dr. Wallach this. I've heard that you can still have normal blood calcium and not be taking in as much as your body needs. I need the answer for her. Yes, she needs to take more, even though her blood work came back. Okay, here's the deal. First of all, I'm glad I'm, I'm third on your list after Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, if you can't get a hold of Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden, I'm here for you. So anyway, here's the deal with high blood pressure, okay? High blood pressure, hypertension is a manifestation of a body that's screaming for help. It's one of the ways that the body protects itself or gives the body the energy to take care of a stressful situation. You want to regard high blood pressure as simply a sign of an activated stress nervous system, sympathetic nervous system. And that means activate the relaxation response through deep breathing. That's the first thing you want to do for hypertension or high blood pressure. And you can test this out yourself. I know you guys have heard me say this before. Now, in case Susan hasn't heard this, you sit down and you do your deep breathing techniques. Take your blood pressure at a baseline level, do deep breathing, take your blood pressure again, and watch what happens. Now, your blood pressure will obviously go back up if you don't continuously deep breathe, but this will give you an indicator of how how important the stress response is when it comes to high blood pressure. So relaxing the body, all the ways you know how to relax the body, a massage, a hot bath or a hot shower, deep breathing, all of these are wonderful ways to lower blood pressure. And then there's nutritional supplements. When the body doesn't have the nutrients it needs, that's also interpreted as a stressor. So using magnesium, 2,000 milligrams a day, must have for hypertension and high blood pressure. The B-complex are your anti-stress vitamins, especially niacin, time-release niacin, very effective for lowering blood pressure. Time-release niacin, maybe 200 milligrams a day or so. You can go up to 500 milligrams a day. And then use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day to make sure that you're getting all your B vitamins throughout the day. Vitamin C, major anti-stress vitamin, also very important for helping lower blood pressure, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day, in addition to using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which has about 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Focusing on digestive health after we eat anything, let alone a, a crappy meal, let alone a McDonald's hamburger type meal. By the way, did you guys catch how McDonald's is mystified why their sales keep dropping every year? Apparently, you Americans are getting the idea that McDonald's is not 
health food or not good food, and McDonald's is doing everything they could do to try to increase their sales. Uh, congratulations, at least we're starting to wake up a little bit maybe uh, to fast food. Of course, other fast food companies have not experienced these kinds of drops in sales. Anyway, uh, making sure you're eating correctly. When we eat the wrong kinds of food, this activates the stress response. When we eat sugar, this also activates the stress response. So if you have hypertension, and I've spoken to numerous people in the last, just in the last few weeks who have high blood pressure and can't seem to lower it, regard it as the manifestation of a body in distress. And one thing you never want to do, unless you have an emergency, is use a beta blocker drug or a calcium channel blocker drug or a nasty poisonous pharmaceutical remedy, supposedly, for lowering blood pressure. Not only are they going to suppress your heart, but they're going to 